Hey guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about all things about making our life in our 30s our absolute best. I would love it if you would subscribe. You're not going to want to miss my upcoming videos, but let's get into it. You came here because you want to be able to conceal your under eyes. You're probably over 30. We have different texture. We have wrinkles. We have discoloration. We have veins. We have sunspots. And I actually found a technique that works for the everyday woman. And I'm not talking about baking and looking great in pictures. I'm talking about looking good in real life and making it look like our actual skin looks more youthful. So I'm here to share this technique with you. I hope you enjoy it. It took me a lot of trial and error, but I want to share this with you because it's important for us to feel beautiful and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It is what it is and it actually works. I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to get up real close and personal. I have done this side of my face. I have not done this side of my face. So when I zoom in, you're going to see the difference. And then I'm going to go through the process on this side of the face, how I did that on this side, if that makes sense. Before I forget, the things that I use for this tutorial are facial oil. I use the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. The other thing I'm going to use is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. Now, I have tried the very expensive stuff. This is the orange color and I come back to this because I found a, a method that works with it that can't be beat in my eyes. Okay, eyes. And then the other thing you're going to want to grab is your favorite concealer. I know everyone has their favorite concealers. That's fine. I really like the Giorgio Armani. So that's the one I'm going to be using today. And a uh, powder, whatever powder you like. We're not going to go over with, with the powder. I hate cakiness. I don't like to be able to see anything underneath my eyes but it does make a difference and it's important. So grab whatever powder you like. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one. The one I'm gonna be using today is just the Hourglass Veil Powder. And then one quick tip is going to be at the end to really make your eyes pop and kind of take away from any other things around your eyes that you feel is drawing attention. I'll do that at the end. The first thing I need you to do is I want you to grab a plate, a plastic lid of something that's clean, something that you can use, and I want you to take your facial oil and I want you to put one drop, just one, on the plate. Okay? Now that that's on there, that's all you're going to need for this entire tutorial. But it makes a huge difference. And I'm going to tell you why. It makes everything we put on our face look like it's part of our skin, like it is our skin. When we keep putting on powders and more and more of this and that, it just it doesn't look good in person. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to look good in pictures and not in person. So I was bound to find a method that works. All right, so grab a brush. I like a flat brush, one that looks like this. The one I'm using today is the MAC 247. The first thing we're gonna do after we get that one drop of oil and we have our brush, is we are going to grab this NYX concealer. And normally you're thinking, I don't wanna put that color on my eyes. Trust me, you'll want to, it does Hunders, and you're not going to see it, I promise, when we're all done. So get a little bit on there on your brush. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take your brush and I want you to dip a tiny, tiny bit into that oil so that it kind of creates an emollient. Once you do that, grab my mirror so I can see. And I'm going to zoom you in really close. So as you can see, I have dark spots. I have veins. I have texture, I have crow's feet. It's just what it is. Let's embrace it. Let's let makeup work for us, not work for the makeup, right? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start concealing over all of the discoloration and the textures and all of that. And don't be afraid to go into places that you're not used to concealing because I'm telling you that it's going to make a huge difference. All of the spots where you normally wouldn't think to conceal. Like for me, I don't wear, I don't wear eyeshadow every day. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. And a lot of times I think just mascara and a really youthful looking eye, um, it 
you don't need it. You don't need to wear eyeshadow every single day. So this makes it so you're more comfortable not doing it too. So I like to do on top of my lids. And as you can see right here, I have a sunspot and I conceal that as well. And I get into the, into the inside here, bridge of my nose. And right in here, we, we constantly have this, or at least I do, I have this spot. This helps with that as well. Once you've got a good base and you can do a little bit more where you feel like you need it, same process, just grab some in your little conceal pot, dab a tiny bit into the oil, and reapply where you really need it. Okay, yeah, this looks a little scary right now. That'll change. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our concealer and I want you to put some of it on your dish, okay? Because we're gonna go into this with our finger. We're not gonna use a brush. We're not gonna use a beauty blender. We're not gonna use anything else besides our fingers. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap into, into the concealer and then tap a little bit into that oil, okay? What we're doing is we're layering, doing them in light layers so it makes a big difference. And I usually start more at the bottom. And tap, 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 gentle taps. Doesn't need to be aggressive. And then you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna keep going. You're gonna go to all the spots that you went with the orange concealer. You guys, you just gotta find what works for you. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but they're not all gonna work for everybody. So once you find someone who kind of has your style, maybe you have similar skin, and they found things that work and they're honest about it, it's worth your time. And maybe you try this and it doesn't work for you. That's okay. Now that that is looking a lot better, the one thing I found that really masks these indentations is using a light powder. So when we're gonna use the light powder, we're gonna go in just the same. This time we're not gonna use an oil. There's no dry tone downtime that I have found that makes any difference between going in right after using the concealer. So I just go in right away. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip my finger and ever so lightly. And so I have a little bit on here and I'm just gonna tap mostly in this crevice. You can go back in, you can do the different layers. I like to dry this down up top as well on my eyelid. Ever so lightly, you do not need a ton of product. Okay. All right. Now when you get to this spot, if you want to set your face, fine. I always put my foundation on first and then do my concealer and stuff afterwards. I find it easier to blend concealer over foundation and not foundation over concealer. Whatever your per personal preference is, is fine. Um, after this is set, you're, you're good. You're golden. And it, I don't get creasing. I don't get anything like that. And it looks like real skin. It looks youthful. And like we just rewind our age like 10 years in my opinion. So, okay, so the bonus tip I wanted to share with you guys is Lumify. If you want your eyes to really pop, I find that if I use this, this is kind of like takes all the redness or any discoloration on the whites of your eyes and makes them stand out and be really bright. I feel this makes us look younger. It's just a really neat tip. So maybe put it in your routine or if you just wanna use it on special occasions, I found it really helps make my eyes pop. Great, I'm so excited that I can share this um, technique with you. I would love it if you would subscribe. I plan on doing a lot of really awesome tutorials of things that I have found um, that really work and are effective and relevant today and especially to women in their 30s. So I'd appreciate it if you commented below on maybe your favorite concealer or your favorite method of concealing dark under eyes. Um, 
that's it. I don't have any more today, you guys, but I will be back soon. And until next time, bye guys.